Uh, gyno surgery is kind of an embarrassing topic to talk about, but I wish somebody put information out there for me uh, when I was looking into this. And um, I've had a lot of problems with gyno over the years. I actually first had it when I was a teenager and I was 100% natural, not on anything. And I, my, I had gyno uh, just happened naturally. Um, I remember when I was in college, um, I, I would actually, this is also crazy. I would actually lactate from my nipples sometimes. Um, and I went to the doctor about it and the doctor just told me, eh, it's normal. Shit happens sometimes. Which is not an answer you want to hear when you're a college student. <laughs> um, I, you know, and I felt the lump under there. I thought I had um, some sort of uh, cancer or whatever, but it wasn't. Um, and then uh, after college, my very first cycle I tried was a friend of mine had some Anadrol, and it blew up on the Anadrol. It just like got gargantuan on my uh, my uh, left pec. Um, got pretty, pretty, pretty fucking big. And I went back to the doctor again. Uh, they told me there was nothing I, they could do about it. Uh, and I had no idea about, um, you know, Novodex or any kind of estrogen blockers or anything at that time. Aromatase inhibitors, sorry. Uh, so, you know, that was all a mystery. I, all I knew was Anadrol was a steroid. I wanted to take steroids. And then I ended up with a bad case of gyno from it. And I swore I would never take anything again after that. And I didn't for a long time, for many years. Um, and I ended up going to a general surgeon. I remember I went to this general surgeon. He told me it was a cyst. He didn't even know it was fucking gyno. He didn't know what it was. And so he cut it out, but he did not cut it out properly. He did not remove all the gland. He just removed the inflamed part. Because he didn't know what the fuck it was. Uh, <laughs> so... You know, piece of advice, make sure if you do look into the surgery that you get an expert on it, someone who knows about it, usually plastic surgeon, um, general surgeons aren't going to usually do a decent job. So he fucked it all up. I eventually ended up getting gyno again on my right pec and I had to go get surgery uh, on both sides. And this time I had lipo done and the glands removed and uh, it was good for a while, and then I got off of everything. And it's funny, because I always seem to get gyno when I come off of stuff. I didn't PCT properly. I stayed off for like 10 years, and the gyno came back. You can see the picture here on the left. Uh, this was from three years ago, I think. Uh, I had to have gyno surgery for a third time. So anybody who tells you that gyno surgery... Is permanent and works after the first time. I that was not my experience, so my guess is that the surgeon did, did not remove all of the gland. I was emphatic with the surgeon this time to remove all the gland. Um, he actually only did my left uh, pec, which was really the bad one. The right one kind of shrunk up on its own with the use of some Novodex and Letrozole. Um, there's still a little nodule there, maybe the size of a marble. You can kind of, if you look here, you can kind of see it on my uh, in my pictures there, but it's much smaller than what it was. Uh, but I, at some point, I'll probably have that cut out again too. It it does get inflamed sometimes. Uh, it's it's inflamed right now. I have to be really careful and monitor my, my estrogen tends to get high and I also think I am very progesterone sensitive as well probably more so than than anything uh, but you know I had the surgery done again um, actually 2019 it wasn't even three years ago it was two years ago I had surgery done uh, on my left pec it was pretty fucking brutal to be honest with you I he I elected if you if you get the surgery done it is cheaper to stay awake much cheaper so i decided not to get knocked out and i stayed awake for the surgery i wish i hadn't <laughs> it was a pretty horrific experience and um you know it took him over an hour to get everything out he said he kept pulling more and more and more stuff out i couldn't believe all the shit he was pulling out of it i'll show you i'm gonna completely gross you out so 
please be forewarned, but the, here, here's a picture of what he actually pulled out of there. This this is the shit that he pulled out of my out of my left pack. It was gigantic. Uh, I probably I'm trying to think of how uh, uh, it was probably about three two and a half three inches in diameter, and stuff ran all the way up the side of my pack, you know, all the way up the side. It was it was fucking crazy. I didn't think there was that much in there and you can see where there was still stitches in there from the old surgery too (laughs) that never dissolved it was like from 10 years ago it was fucking insane after the surgery i was pretty beat up too and i will show you that now too this is what my chest looked like after the surgery it was pretty inflamed it was a good month before i could go back to training i i had and it was swollen up there was blood draining out of it it was it was pretty nasty but in the end i think these results were pretty solid you know my chest you know all things considering is pretty tight and i will tell you when he did the surgery on me he cut he went in through the nipple cut the cut the nipple off and pulled the skin tighter um to tighten up some of the loose skin around it you can see Actually, in here, there's some little bit of wrinkles and stuff in there. I'm old as fuck, so wrinkles are part of life. Um, so I would say, you know, things to consider if you're going to get gyno surgery, look for a qualified surgeon who has done these before. If you go in, they don't seem to know what they're talking about, go to the next doctor. Uh, and plastic surgeons seem to be the most experienced. Uh, this guy I went to the last time, did a nice job. And it usually takes a combination of two two things. They have to go in and actually remove the gland, and then they lipo the fat out from around the pec. Um, the you know the estrogenic fat that's that's there around the pec. Um, so they do both. They'll they'll lipo it first, cut the nipple off, go in and then remove the uh, um, the gland. But you have to get the gland out and have to get all of it out. If they do not get all the gland out. It's going to grow back again, and you're going to have issues again down the road. I know firsthand. Don't believe that bullshit that that <laughs> they'll tell you that once you've had it done, you don't have to get it get it done again. Uh, make sure they guarantee the surgery. Uh, that's another thing too. Most surgeons will guarantee the surgery. Um, I I did not have a good experience with my first two surgeries. Third one so far. It's been fine. I wish I had him just go ahead and do the other pack while he was at it, even though I, I just figured there wasn't much in there. I don't know. I don't know if this little bit here is worth taking out, but as I put on weight, as I get heavier, it tends to get bigger. When I die it down, it gets smaller. It's less noticeable, but um, something I may consider getting taken out again in the future. If you have questions about gyno surgery, shoot me a message. I know it's kind of an embarrassing topic, but happy to talk to you about it, give you some advice. Uh, And please like and subscribe my video, uh, or like and subscribe to my channel, like the video, if I can talk. Uh, I get a lot of people watching my videos, but not many people subscribing. Hopefully this helps you some. I wish somebody had put out a video that would have been helpful for me. Thanks.